Hello. So I first got into children's books as a child, uh, surprisingly. Uh, I really, really loved Roald Dahl all the way up until I was an adult. Uh, the stories don't teach any morals. There's nothing about them other than chaos and silliness, and that's what's amazing about them. Uh, when Quinton Blake started doing the illustrations, that's when I really got into them uh, because they kind of give order to that chaos and bring out the characters, uh, bring the characters to life. Uh, the way they're drawn, the kind of madness of them, really, uh, really inspired me. And it was on a, a trip to the Roldal Museum, uh, which I did as a first date with my partner because I know how to show a lady a good time. Uh, where I found this book, Lost and Found, which is a story about a boy who finds a penguin at the door of his house and realizes he must be lost, and he uh, needs to help him find his way home to the South Pole. Um, the story's a, a touching tale of, of friendship, but it's also so beautifully illustrated, and I didn't know children's books could look like this. Uh, they all look like kind of Jack and the Beanstalk to me up until I was about 22 and saw this. Um, it, the, the watercolours that are used, the actual story itself is full of, uh, of deep meaning, but without actually going too much into it, because it's for two to four year olds, not 22 year olds, but that's irrelevant. Um, and it led me to find out more books like it, and. Uh, I started to buy kind of every children's book that I could find, and I delved back into the old classics that I'd got uh, I'd got when I was a child, and uh, and kind of realised that there's a lot more to these books than uh, than meets the eye. The the media they use, the colours they use, the crops hatching in this is incredible, and also the symbolism as well. It's all very poetic, but um, but also the way they're drawn is is amazing, um, and I ended up enjoying them a lot more than adult books. That I should say, adult fiction books, not. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, and I just kept buying more and more uh, more and more books. Uh, th this is again, this is an Oliver Jeffers one. He became my favourite author. This is a book about um, it's kind of a who done it scenario. But as I said, it's it's a lot more interesting than an adult, an adult book. I think books about bears who want to win a paper aeroplane competition are way more interesting than a lawyer finding something terrible at his firm and uh, and he needs to get to the bottom of it and. I, this just never really interested me, um, and I kept going, and I found this book called The Storm Whale, which is, it, there's not much story to it, it's about a boy who finds a whale and puts him in the bath, um, but it's just so beautifully illustrated, the detail in it's amazing, um, the use of colour in scenes like this, is, it's like a, a real painting, um, and it also, these books touch on deep themes with children, uh, this book's about a boy who's sad because his father is constantly away fishing, and the reason that uh, he puts the whale in the bath is because he's lonely and he wants someone to talk to. And uh, his dad asks him why there's a whale in the bath and he says, well, I'm a bit lonely. And his dad says, oh, well, I'll stop fishing. Um, so that's great for kids who, who miss their parents and then um, want someone to talk to. And it kind of helps you understand life a bit more. Um, Humour is an amazing thing in children books. They're a lot funnier than, uh, than most things for adults. Uh, this is about a fly who uh, has been looking forward to going swimming all day and he gets to the pool and he jumps in. It's a little pool and he's, he's, he's having a great time and then suddenly there's a big thunderstorm and something terrible comes down from overhead and uh, I just love his face. <laughs> there's a big poo and he's just terrified. Um, so that's kind of really obvious slapstick humour, which is brilliant in children's books, but there's also subtle humour. This is called uh, I Want My Hat Back, which is by John Classen. Um, pretty much every page looks like this, uh, and it's, re it's a really nice illustration, as simple as it is. And it's about a bear who's lost his hat, and he wants to get it back. So he asks various other animals if they've seen his hat. Uh, no, I haven't seen your hat. No, I haven't seen your hat. No, I haven't seen your hat. Wait a minute. Someone's seen my hat. It will be the next slide. <laughs> You've got my hat! Um, and I just, I like that, the, the story's played out very simply throughout, and that's almost not really touched on, and then he realises that he has seen his hat, and he goes and confronts the bear, and then he gets his hat back. Because he loves his hat. Uh, but he did eat the rabbit. That's... <laughs> Um, and then someone asked him if they've seen the, if he's seen the rabbit, and he lies, just like the rabbit did. So, again, morals. I'm happy if they're not any. Um, and something I'm really enjoying at the moment is watching all these books come to life because it's a bit like with the Marvel universe. Um, all these stories that were originally on page are now being animated and they're brought to life, and they're also done very, very well. I've not seen too many that have been done badly, and they touch on the stories perfectly. Uh, that's me at an Oliver Jeffers thing, which I nearly went to without my child, and I'm really glad I didn't because I'd have looked creepy. Um, <laughs> thank you very much.